Good afternoon, everyone. It gives me immense pleasure to call all of you here in this first live of Tanishka Gupta story reading session. Welcome you all. Okay. As a child, I had a dream of writing a book of my own. Little did I know that life would allow me to mentor children to write flawlessly and express themselves in form of short stories. A storybook to his or her name brings a sparkle in the eyes of the child. Explore Kids is doing a fantabulous job by providing a unique platform to all the young and enthusiastic children to write stories on instant prompts provided. The children have weaved beautiful short stories and this book shall be a great encouragement to them to boost their morale and inspire them to continue to write in future. I am an academic mentor and owner of Edge Over Academy. I would like to wish Tanishka a fun-filled, vocabulary-rich and a fairy tale beginning to her writing journey. So without wasting time and coming in between you and Tanishka, I would like to invite Tanishka. Yes, all over to you, darling. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, friends. I'm Tanishka Gupta. And today, I'm going to read. I'm a nine-year-old from Mumbai. I'm currently in grade four. My hobbies are reading, writing, dancing, crafting, and singing. Basically, I like expressing myself through all forms. Apart from studies, I am also a black belt in karate and I'm learning Kathak too. I've also written a fiction book by the name Princess in Space. You can buy it to read it from your side. I really believe life is beautiful and everything around us is or can be made beautiful. With Explore Kids World, I have weaved some beautiful stories and today I'm here to read one of the stories from my second book named Super 7 Stories. The title of my story is Kathy Catches a Crocodile. Come on, let's go, Kathy shouted. John, have you taken the fishing rods? Kathy, pick up the snacks basket quickly, Kathy's mother asked. Her father was waiting in the car for them, all excited. They were going for a picnic in the sea. It was a hot, sunny day. The car was loaded with stuff and large fishing rods. Yes, they were planning to go fishing. John had never been fishing before, so he was very excited. Kathy, being the elder sister, was trying to teach John about fishing. As they reached near the seashore, the scenic beauty mesmerized the family. The sun was high up in the sky, half behind the clouds. The birds were chirping sweetly. The blue sea spread across the horizon and looked heavenly. And the colorful flowers alongside the shore added life to heaven. It was a picturesque scene. Kathy and the family jumped out of their car and ran towards the sea. John and Kathy were running all over the place. They had not seen such a wonderful place before. The father spoke to the boatman and loaded the boat with the fishing rods. The boatman gave the father some tokens. An instructor accompanied them in the boat to help them fish. They did as the instructor said. John, take out the rods and give it to Kathy. Kathy, place them in a line from small to big. It will help you all to know which one is your rod. Mr. Mate, give me the tokens given to you. I will load it on your rods. It will help you to take out the fishes from the sea easily, instructed the instructor. Everyone was diligently following the instructions. Soon, the father's fishing rod caught a big golden fish. He was very happy. John was very excited. He wanted to catch a fish too. Mother asked him, Hold your horses, John. You will too catch a nice fish. You need to be patient. John sat waiting next to his fishing rod. Soon, there was a small blue and green catch in his rod. Look, there's a fish in my rod. I think it's a big one. Hooray! Shouted John excitedly. The instructor helped John to pull the fishing rod. 
and he was very happy to see his first catch. Kathy, look at this beauty. Don't you think it's lovely? Please click my picture with it. I will show it to all my friends. Kathy clicked pictures of John with the scenery and the lovely fish. But Kathy was still waiting. She couldn't get anything yet. And she was hopeful of catching a big one today. She sat there thinking of what color the fish would be. She wished it to be a really big one that she could also show to her friends. Finally, her rod moved. Yes, it's a catch. She tried pulling her rod out, but she couldn't. It seems to be a really big one, Kathy exclaimed. I can't believe it. Mama, Daddy, please help me pull it out of the water. All of them pulled the rod out together. Oh my gosh, it's a huge. We're going to have a good dinner tonight. She was blabbering as they all tried to pull the rod. And here it was. Kathy was both shocked and surprised to see her catch. It was unbelievable. How could it be? She had never thought of something of the kind. Wow, what a lovely catch. You should surely have it for dinner tonight, said John easily. Kathy had to chew her words as she saw a little crocodile hanging on the other side of her fishing rod. Everyone had a hearty laugh and John clicked a quick picture with the caption, Kathy catches a crocodile. Thank you. I hope you liked my story. You can buy this Super 7 Stories book to read it from your side. You can read this story and the rest of the six stories. You will have as much fun as Kathy and the family had when they went for fishing. I'll you read these amusing seven stories. Thank you. Hope you liked my story. Do give me your feedback. Tanishka, I would request you, uh, you have read one story. If you could read the names of your other six stories also. Just read the names of your other six stories. Yes, ma'am. My first story is Amanda and the Ants. Second story is Leo and the Lizard. Third story is Kathy Catches a Crocodile. The fourth story is Doris and Dolo's Dream. The fifth story is Secret 17. The sixth story is Fatusha's Fan. And the seventh story is Syrah's Skating Sessions. Yes, These are some very exciting prompts provided by Explore Kids World to the children. And it is a very big platform where children are really motivated. And it's, it's absolutely the creativity of the children that has come out in the form of these stories. And uh, the prompts were given by Explore Kids World. And uh, children got no help from anywhere. And uh, they have weaved out some very beautiful stories, as you could have just heard what Tanishka read out. If her first story is so exciting, so you can very well imagine to yourself that the other six stories will be equally amazing. So I would request all of you to encourage this young budding author buy her book and uh, encourage her. Thank you so much, all of you, for joining us on this Saturday afternoon, sparing your valuable time, taking so much of time to listen to our little Tanishka. All the best, Tanishka, and it was very well said. Your voice Thank was, you. the expressions were very beautiful, and it was really amazing hearing that story from you. It's paucity of time, otherwise we would have made you read all the seven stories, but it's not possible. So... Let, let the curiosity remain with the other authors and uh, other readers. So they would like to definitely read, buy your book and read it. Yes, I think. Thank you. I think that's it for today. We can end the live.